Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name's Tiananmen and as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail, today's video is going to be a spoiler-free reaction vlog to House of Flame and Shadow by Sarah J Maas. It's here guys, it's finally happening and don't worry there will be a spoiler filled vlog coming your way soon after this one but I did want to give people the option to just hear my thoughts on it generally and so I won't be going into any spoiler territory in this vlog at all so you are completely safe, you won't be spoiled but as I mentioned that spoiler filled vlog is coming your way soon and let me tell you it is a wild ride. So if you don't want to miss that when it does go live please do make sure to click the subscribe button so that you will be notified when I do post it. And just in case any of you guys don't know what Crescent City is, this is the third book in that series. It is the last one from what I can gather, though there may be some spin-off books, we shall see. And in the first book we follow our main character, Bryce Quinlan, and her group of friends. Now Bryce is a party girl, she is out almost every night partying, and one day something tragic occurs and it changes the course of her life forever because people from her close circle are murdered. She is badly injured as well and yeah as I mentioned it changes the course of her entire life. The person that they thought committed these murders was found and put behind bars however two years later the murders start occurring again and they are very similar to what happened to Bryce and her friends and so she is asked to work on this case in order to try and figure out what's going on and who this copycat killer is. She doesn't work alone though she is given a bodyguard called Hunt Athala who is a fallen angel. He is enslaved to the kind of government of the this world and he is assigned to protect Bryce and make sure that she survives this whole mission. I'm not going to say much more than that. I would highly recommend the first book though. It is one of my favourite books of all time and yeah as I mentioned this is the third book in that series so if you would like to hear my thoughts on them then make sure to carry on watching. It's about time that I updated you guys because I have made it up to page 204 of House of Flame and Shadow which I actually can't believe. I feel like this book so easy to fly through. For some reason I did struggle reading House of Sky and Breath. I felt like it was definitely a slower paced book. However, with the way that ended and with the way that this began, I've just been so invested and I'm just loving this so, so much, you guys. I will say that I do love one perspective more than the others and so when we do change perspective, I just want to get back to that first one. But there's just so much happening now that no matter which perspective you're following, you are learning so much more about what is actually going on and we're getting so many more reveals about certain characters and different situations and it's honestly just insane. Now I wasn't actually going to tab this book but as you can see I have started to just because I feel like for my spoilery vlog I do want to refer back to certain things just because I feel like with books like these I tend to throw myself in there and then not that I don't remember the story but I go through it so quickly because I'm desperate to know what's going on that sometimes when I'm filming vlogs like these I do miss out on key details or stuff that I would like to share with you guys so I have started tabbing this one and as you can see I do have quite a few I don't have loads because I'm not a person that typically does annotate my books I used to but I strayed away from that for some reason but I've gone for purple here which means kind of big events we have green which is world building yellow which is funny and I think yellow is the tab that I have the most amount of because these characters are just brilliant and they're so hilarious blue is sad which I'm not going to go into why it's sad and then orange is something big and let me tell you I have just read something big that relates to the overall plot of this whole book. All I'm thinking whilst reading this is that Sarah J Maas is a genius. I don't know how she's managed to do it and plot the series so that everything just comes together but it is fantastic and I'm here for it. I know that some people weren't keen on the things that are happening here and the way that this series has gone. I personally love it. As I've said I'm having an amazing time with it so far and I have just flown through 200 pages last night and this morning which is definitely good going for me. I feel like I could have read it faster but last night I was so tired I managed to read 50 pages I think it was and then this morning I got up quite early actually I got up before Tom so I just took myself downstairs and I read some more and then we have been all over the place today looking at different floors for our new house and and some tiles as well for some of the walls and I think we went to about four or five different places and spent quite a while there we got different samples and yeah just took them around different shops to compare them 
and to get quotes and see where we want to go with it and how much it's ultimately going to cost. So whilst we were in the car I was trying to read as much as I could and that is how I've managed to read quite a bit. Not gonna lie I did want to film today but that has just gone out the window and now that I have started this one I just want to sit down and read it. So I have pushed filming to tomorrow but I'm also babysitting my nieces tomorrow so that my brother can go to our new house and sort out my bathroom. So it's just chaotic at the minute guys and I'm trying to fit in reading where I can but I'm loving this so so much that all I want to do right now is sit down and read. So for the rest of the night I don't actually have any plans. I was gonna go to the gym but I've been to the gym every day so far this week I believe. It's currently Friday and my legs are feeling it so I'm gonna take a rest day today and then go to the gym tomorrow hopefully and to do a leg workout. So that should mean that I have plenty of time tonight to read some more of this book. I cannot wait. I don't really know where it's gonna go. I don't know how everything's gonna come together at the end but just seeing where our characters are at this point in time has me so excited. Now one character is getting along better than the others, of course I'm not gonna spoil anything, and there are some characters that my heart is breaking for. I read some scenes and I was just, yeah, I was just heartbroken. But even in these kind of dark, depressing, horrible scenes, we do get some humour throughout it, which is definitely something I appreciate. And it's definitely what I would expect from these characters as well. So even though we are dealing with the repercussions from the ending of the last book, and even though some of our characters aren't in the best place, or most of them actually, it is really interesting to see what they are doing to kind of combat that and what they are doing to ensure that it is going to work out in the end. I feel like that's all I can say without spoiling anything. It is very fast paced. I am very much enjoying it and I'm desperate to carry on. So that is what I'll be doing. I'll be taking myself downstairs or I might possibly read in the library actually, depending on whether Tom is on his Xbox or he's watching something on the telly. And then I'm going to power through hopefully another 200 odd pages today. I would love to get to the halfway mark today. I feel like that would be insane. And then on Sunday I can hopefully smash it out. I'm definitely being optimistic here, but with this book being so fast paced, already I feel like I am just gonna fly through it and yeah I just can't wait because as I mentioned I love these characters so much I love the new characters introduced and I just want to see what on earth is going on and how they find a way out of this not so great situation <laughs> Not gonna lie guys, I'm finding it so hard to film this spoiler free vlog because I just want to talk about this book with you guys but I am filming a spoilery one so I can share my thoughts more in depth there. I just feel like I'm repeating myself because this book is insane, so many different things are happening and coming into play that I just don't know how it's all gonna come together at the end. I only have about 300 pages left of this book now and if you've read any Sarah J Maas book you know that this is the point now where everything's gonna ramp up and the stakes are gonna get so high and we're gonna go all out to try and save everyone and yeah I just don't think I'm ready for it so we'll see what happens but I'm loving all the characters I will say that I'm getting a little bit sick of Ethan's chapters mainly because he keeps making really stupid decisions and then he spends the next like 100 pages or so trying to make up for those stupid decisions but then he does another stupid decision and then the cycle just continues so I'm definitely more interested in the other characters perspectives of course we have different things going on which I can't go into but if you've read House of Sky and Breath you will know <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the way that ended, where certain characters are now, it's just insane and so I just keep wanting to go back to those characters rather than being with Ethan where he is. So that is pretty much it. As I mentioned, I'm going to my brother's house today, so I am not going to take the book with me, but I only have that little section left. I reckon I will smash this out tonight, but I'm not sure whether or not I'm going to the gym tonight, actually, so we'll see. That is definitely the plan, though. I feel like I'm just going to fly through these last couple of hundred pages, because how could I not? I'm just so invested in this story, and that's why I haven't updated you guys, because whilst I was reading those 300 pages, I did not put the book down once, and I didn't want to put the book down once, and the thought of updating you guys whilst I was reading was just out of my mind completely because I was so immersed in this book and this world and what is going on with the characters and yeah I just couldn't so I do apologize but all you need to know is that I'm loving it I really do like where this is going I don't know if it's going to go the way I think it will by the end but I'm excited for it nonetheless and yeah we'll see if 
certain characters pop up again or what's actually happening and I'm just not ready guys, I'm not ready so <laughs> For now, even though this update was short, I don't have too much to say other than I'm loving it. I feel like the next few updates are going to be a little bit different because I plan on sitting down and powering through this book tonight and I feel like a lot of emotional stuff's gonna happen because this is Sarah J Maas we're talking about and the last 100 pages of her book are always just an emotional roller coaster. So that might be entertaining for you, we shall see. But yeah, for now I'm off to babysit my nieces. I may go to the gym, we shall see, and then my plan for tonight is to sit down and hopefully finish this one out. Oh my gosh you guys, shit has hit the fan. <laughs> I'm on page 572 and I have just had to read some of the best but most intense scenes that I've ever read. The way that Sarah J Mass manages to play on your emotions and just also work everything out in these books is insane. Like she really does baffle me because it made sense why certain characters were where they were and it also made sense why other characters then appeared as well and then the actions that all of them take lead to this big plot point that I just don't know how it's gonna affect Midgard and everyone essentially in the hierarchy. It's just crazy. So yeah, I've just read a very, very intense scene that was just extremely emotional, was very badass and yeah, I just... Um, I'm lost for words essentially. <laughs> this book is just playing on my emotions guys. It's so funny as I mentioned it's also lovely to see the different relationships that our characters have and the solidarity that they have as well but then it's also so sad because we learn of some horrific things that have gone on and we're still learning about some horrific things and seeing horrific things happen and then we also have these moments of our characters just being so badass and having to make really tough decisions on the spot decisions that yeah are gonna change the fate of this world essentially and the way it's done is so clever it is fantastic I genuinely can't fault it and I just can't wait to keep reading I don't know if I will finish this tonight I'm hoping I will but I do have this chunk left so we'll see also if you see something on my hand I burnt my hand earlier so I put some cream on it <laughs> I'm fine, I'm just really stupid, but yeah, I don't know how this book is gonna wrap up. With there being about 250, 300 pages left, I am so scared because if you've read a Sarah J Maas book before, you'll know that the endings are absolutely chaotic and they're so fast paced and so much happens that I don't think I'm gonna wanna put the book down. So I'm not sure whether I'll update this vlog again until I've finished, I probably will. There'll be something that's happened that will definitely affect me, but I'm just hoping it's nothing bad. <laughs> because I don't know if I'll be able to deal with that and yeah I'm just gonna keep reading now so that I can find out what's going on and let you guys know my thoughts and feelings on it. I'm probably really gonna regret putting myself on camera like this but um this is the state that House of Flame and Shadow has left me in. I've just about managed to um, stop crying. I really didn't expect to get that emotional. I didn't realise how much I was connected to these characters and how invested I was and still am in what is happening to them. But that was hard. That was, that was tough to read. I think I'm gonna stop filming here now though because wow, that was a lot and I just need to decompress. Kiwi is still here. She's been with me through all of it, bless her. <laughs> She's been my emotional support dog. But wow, that was insane. 
That was genuinely nuts. Right guys, let's wrap up my thoughts on House of Flame and Shadow. As you can see, I have recovered from last night's reading session. I genuinely have not been that affected by a book in the longest time. I genuinely couldn't tell you the last book that I reacted to that deeply. I was just so emotional. I feel like the way it all came together at the end and the way that the characters were there throughout everything and just had each other's backs and the fact that love was such an important theme throughout all three of these books. I was just gone. I was just gone. Saying that, I do acknowledge that this book isn't perfect. I had a few issues with it. The main thing being that I feel like everything was over so quickly in this one. We are building and building and building up to this massive ending. We know that the threat in this book is meant to be almost undefeatable and so to have it done in like 100 pages, I feel like it was wrapped up way too quickly. Not to say I didn't enjoy it. I did. I felt like it was so intense. I feel like I was on the edge of my seat. I was so emotionally invested, but it wrapped up way too quickly and way too easily and it was a typical Sarah J Maas ending which I'm not mad about because I obviously love this world and I love all of these characters but I feel like it would have been more impactful had something bigger happened. There is also another part in this book where some of our main characters are being a little bit horrible to each other and it's just completely out of character and I wasn't sure how to feel about it. That definitely didn't sit right with me in terms of the context of it and why a character was feeling a certain way. I just don't see why the other character would then come in and belittle them for it. I don't know, it just didn't sit right with me. It kind of got resolved further on. They made up, people apologised, but yeah, it was just very strange for me that they would have acted that way. And so that definitely did put me off. All in all though, I love this book. I am not looking at it too critically. I've seen a lot of reviews that really deep dive into why this is a bad book in their opinion and that is completely fine, but I am here for the characters. I've said it throughout, but I love these characters. I love this world. I love the plot line. I love the connections that we're getting. And to me, this is just a series that I want to fly through and just really enjoy, which I'm glad to say that I did. I know it's not the best written book ever. I know that there are some things that could have been changed to make it flow a bit better or make it more cohesive, but I just had the most amazing time reading it and that is essentially what I'm looking for when I'm picking up a book, especially a book in a series that I know I've loved previously and that I'm so invested in. So this isn't one that I'm gonna look at critically. I had such an amazing time reading it. I haven't read a book this big this quickly in in such a long time so that in itself just proves how entertained I was and I was just immersed in the story throughout. I will say with the way that this ended I'm not sure what is happening with the rest of the books in the series if we're getting another one or if it's just going to be a trilogy. I feel like Sarah may go down the route of A Court of Thorns and Roses and have the first three books as a trilogy and then maybe branch out and follow different characters if she does plan on writing more books in this series. It could definitely work because there are so many characters that I would love to follow and just see what they get up to in their day-to-day -day lives. It doesn't have to be this epic adventure story. I would honestly just follow them to see what they're doing, even if it is so mundane. But yeah, I really did love this one. I'm so glad that I decided to just jump straight into this one after House of Sky and Breath, because we know I didn't have the most amazing time with that one, but I'm so glad that I did with this one. And even though this has been a spoiler-free vlog and I haven't been able to share all of my thoughts whilst reading this, I really do hope that you guys have enjoyed watching it as well. Hopefully I've convinced you to pick up this series if you haven't. If you haven't read this book in particular yet but you've read the other two, please pick this one up. It is so worth your time. I know House of Sky and Breath wasn't the best book but this one will knock your socks off, I'm telling you. So if you've been sleeping on it, please don't. Go and pick it up now, sit down and start it and you will not regret it, I promise you. But I am going to leave this video here. I have had an amazing time as I've mentioned. I'm so excited to put this beautiful book onto my Sarah J Maas shelves with the rest of the books in the series and I feel like I'm having a massive book hangover now so I need to go and occupy my mind somewhere else or just binge watch review videos because that's what I've been doing this morning and I've definitely got a lot from that. So who knows, I may just fall deeper into Sarah J Maas's universe and consume all the content that I can from it. If you have made it this far through into the video and would like to let me know that you're still here, please go ahead and leave me a crescent moon emoji for obvious reasons. I know I see it all the time but seeing you guys comment the emoji of the video truly does mean the world to me. It blows me away that you guys watch these all the way through. So if you don't have anything in particular that you would like to say but you would like to let me know that you're still here, 
here, please go ahead and comment that now. As well as that, please don't forget to click the like button if you like this video and the subscribe button if you'd like to see more content from me. But that is it for me today, guys. Thank you once again for watching and I will see you soon in my next video. Goodbye.